Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's code is P0172, which means your engine is running rich. That means there's too much fuel in the air-fuel mixture, causing a bunch of problems. But don't worry, we'll diagnose the culprit and get your car running smoothly again in this DIY guide. Think of your engine like a campfire. You need the right amount of air and fuel for a good fire, right? Same with your car. A rich mixture is like pouring too much gasoline on the logs, it bogs everything down and creates black smoke. This can lead to decreased performance, higher fuel consumption, and even damage your catalytic converter. The first step in fixing the P0172 code is to diagnose the issue. Grab a diagnostic. Scanner you can find affordable ones online or at your local auto parts store. Plug it into the OBDI port, usually located beneath the dashboard. Read the code, and if it's P0172, we're on the right track. It could be a vacuum leak a faulty mass airflow sensor, a clogged fuel filter, or even a malfunctioning oxygen. Sensor, today, we'll focus on one of the most frequent culprits of vacuum leak. Step 1. The MAF sensor. Remove the MAF sensor, it's usually situated in the air intake system, between the air, filter box and the engine, find the connector attached to the sensor and carefully press the release tab while pulling to detach it. Once disconnected and unbolted, gently pull the sensor out of its housing. Spray clean the MAF sensor, spray the MAF cleaner according to the instructions on the can. Typically, you'll want to hold the can about 4 inches away and spray short. Bursts in 10 minus 15 repetitions, aiming at the sensor element but avoiding direct contact. Reinstall the dried MAF sensor. If you removed any parts to access the sensor, reinstall them in the reverse order of removal. Ensure all clamps and connections are secure. Step 2. The Oxygen Sensor Remove the oxygen sensor. Use an oxygen sensor socket wrench, often with a cutout, for the wiring to loosen and remove the sensor from the exhaust pipe. Be careful as the sensor can be stuck tight due to high temperatures. Reinstall a new oxygen sensor. Apply a small amount of anti-seize compound to the threads of the new sensor to prevent them from seizing in the future. Thread the new sensor hand tight first, then tighten it further using the wrench following the torque specifications mentioned in your car's manual. Once you've fixed the issue, it's time to clear the P0172 code. Use your diagnostic scanner to erase the trouble code and voila, but we're not done yet. Take your car for a test drive to ensure everything is running smoothly. If the check engine light stays off, you've successfully tackled the P0172 code. Important note, remember, these are just basic steps. Every car is different, and your specific repair process might vary. Always consult your car's manual or a professional mechanic for detailed instructions and safety precautions. And there you have it, folks, a step-by-step -step guide on fixing the P0172 trouble code. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more automotive DIY tips and tricks. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences, drop a comment below. Until next time, happy wrenching!